All right. Good morning, friends. This is Dennis Miracle. Today I'm going to be making uh, this purse here, the Vienna purse. And uh, I want to, it's for the 6x10 hoop, and I want to show you the items you will need to make it. You will obviously need thread and uh, a zipper long enough to, uh, probably 12 to 14 inch zipper. You will need two pieces of fabric cut 7x11 for the interior lining. You will need two pieces of fabric cut 7x11 uh, for the uh, front of the bag, uh, two uh, complementary fabrics, and you will need uh, a piece of fabric for the back of the bag, which I'll use this uh, same fabric that I'm using on the front. All of these cut 7 by 11. You will need uh, two pieces of batting, one cut 6 by 11 and one cut 7 by 11. And uh, I believe, let me see, you will need uh, a little connector if you want to add a connector, one of these devices here. Uh, and that's just grow grain ribbon with a uh, key ring put in the middle of it and then stapled at the top to hold it together. And those are the items you're going to need uh, right up front to start the project. So I have already run the first step and I will show it to you here. This is the first step uh, showing you where to place the uh, uh, zipper and I'm going to take my zipper, red zipper, and place it. If it's a number three zipper, which is what I recommend, a nylon number three zipper, uh, it will fit perfectly between these four lines. One, two, three, and four. It should fit there perfectly. So take and uh, take, I'm going to take and uh, tape this at the uh, right side, the left side, and in the middle, and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see I have taped uh, the zipper down in those three places, and I'm going to take the uh, hoop and put it in the machine and run step two, so let me do that. All right, uh, I have now, you can see that I have now had the uh, zipper sewn down in step two. Step three, you will need one piece of lining and uh, the piece of fabric that will be your the green fabric, which is the first piece of fabric we're going to place down on the front. It will be whatever you want to use as this uh, color here, as this green where all this beautiful stitching will be. So that will be the piece we need next. So I'm going to turn the hoop over. And of course, there are four lines here, and I'm going to take uh, my piece of uh, lining fabric, put it face down, and I'm going to line it up with this fourth line down, making sure that it's uh, fine on both sides also, and I'm going to tape that in place. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I have taped down uh, the piece of lining fabric and I'm going to pick the hoop up and let the lining fabric fall over to the front of the hoop. And I'm going to take the lining fabric and fold it over and then fold it another time and I'm going to tape it to the frame of the hoop right where my finger is right here, so let me do that. All right, you can uh, see now that uh, I have taped it right here because we will not need that. We need that lining fabric to stay out of the way for probably four or five of the next steps. Next, I'm going to take my, uh, as I said, the uh, fabric that I will be using in place of this green solid fabric. I'm going to take this uh, pretty fabric here that says uh, Seasons, Most Wonderful Time of the Year, Merry and Bright, and other things that says Christmassy things. And I'm going to, since it's directional, I want it to be in this direction, end up in this direction. I'm going to take and then just fold it over 
where uh, we're looking at the back side of the fabric and I'm going to line it up against the edge of the zipper and tape it down making sure that it's uh, okay on both sides also so let me do that and uh, I'll be right back okay I have uh, now taped down in the center and on both of the sides uh, this uh, piece of fabric and I'm going to take and put it into the uh, embroidery machine and run step three which will sew a line right through here sewing down this top piece and the lining piece on the back of the hoop so let me do that all right you want to uh, we can see that it it uh, is fine here on the front let's turn the hoop over and make sure that uh, everything stayed the way it should yes nothing came loose there wasn't a disaster on the back so turn it back over here to the front of the hoop and we're going to take uh let me walk over and get that i'm going to take this smaller piece of batting which i said you need one six by eleven one seven by eleven i'm going to take the six by eleven piece and place it right uh, down underneath the stitching line of stitching there and I'll take and pull the fabric over it and let me see take and smooth it down and then I'm going to take my iron which is heating at the moment and give it a good uh, uh, I'm going to get a nice crease here is what I'm trying to say get a good crease here so let me do that because I like the way that looks when it's nice and increased along the top here. So that looks great. That's exactly in the orientation we wanted. The next thing we're going to do is run step four, which will be the placement line for the next piece of fabric on the front. So let me do that. All right, now you can see the uh, placement stitch has been sewn down and we're going to take our next piece of fabric uh, that's going to be the fabric that's uh, where my thumb is at in this one we're making and I'm using this piece of fabric here with uh, ornaments and uh, snowflakes and such take and place that over the design and uh, I'm going to give it a little press it's got a little bit of all right let me stick this in the machine and run step five which will sew that down and i'll be right back all right you may not be able to see it i don't know maybe you can see right, right where i'm pointing uh this top piece of fabric has been sewn down and what i'm going to do, to do now is trim i'm going to trim uh with my applique scissors starting right here just cut right across and cut on this side of the stitches the top of the stitches down through here and then back over and off the side because we want to have our bottom fabric to show in here so let me uh, go to the kitchen table where it's nice and bright and i can actually see what i'm doing and uh, i'll be back in a moment all right now you can see where i have done the uh, trimming and i'm going to put this in the machine now and run step six and that will put a beautiful uh, satin stitch on these raw edges so that the raw edges won't be shown so let me do that and i'll be right back all right you can see that the uh, satin stitching has been completed and now the, the stitching will take place the beautiful quilting here uh on this fabric here and on the sides uh the same as with this this center fa fabric here so let me that will be step seven let me put this in the machine and get that started i'll be back in a moment all right you can see that the beautiful stitching has been completed and now i'm going to change uh i think uh for the the next step is to do the quilting on this part of the bag uh, of the front piece and I'm going to change to the gold thread and do that I believe so let me do that and I'll run that step which would be step eight and I'll be back in a bit 
Okay, I have just finished running step um, eight. And you can see it did the beautiful stitching here in gold in the bottom part of the design. So the next thing we're going to do is finally let, let this loose, this piece of uh, lining, and let it roll back to the back. and take off these pieces of, well, let me, <laughs> all right, let me remove this, okay, there we are, and then take and pull this down, the lining, smooth it down, and then uh, tape it here on both corners. I can use the same tape. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, put this in the machine and run step nine, which will basically just sew this down uh, going all the way around four corners of the bag, sewing the back piece of lining down. So let's do that and I'll be right back. All right, you can see that the uh, back uh, has been sewn down, and so let's uh, take now and need to remove this stabilizer that is behind the zipper so the zipper can be opened. So let me see if I can do this one-handed. Alrighty. Okay. Get rid of those pieces of Let me see. Come on you. Okay. All right. So, let's turn it back over to the uh front. and remove this piece of tape up here that initially held the zipper down. Okay, throw that away and then open the zipper. All the way, about three quarters of the way over and uh, that looks good. And now I'm going to attach this right here, this little connector for a wristlet. I'm going to attach it about right here. Um, and I'm going to, let me see if I can do this one-handed. I'm going to tape it. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to tape it there. That's a little crooked, but and then make sure you tape the metal piece down or it'll get uh, it'll get in a in the way and cause a disaster so uh, all right that looks good the zipper's open that's a main important thing now take your uh, back fabric and your piece of batting that's left let's see this back this back fabric doesn't really have an up or down so take it and uh, place it over the design like this and make sure that you are at least a quarter of an inch over the top of this zipper with the back uh, back piece of fabric which I am and then take and put this piece of batting face down over that. I'll straighten it up when I put the camera down, but go ahead and do that and uh, put your the uh, put it, the hoop back in the machine and run step 10 and I'll be right back after I've done that. Okay, I have run step, uh, what was that, 10 and you can see that it has uh, in fact 
I sewn this down so the bag is basically closed up. It sewed the bag together. And now we're for the last step 11, we're going to turn the hoop over and uh, we have our zipper showing, which is what it should be. Take your last piece of lining fabric and uh, place it as we did the front piece. Make sure that it. it's at least a quarter of an inch above this top line here which it is and make sure it's okay at the bottom uh, yes it's fine and on the side so everything looks good and uh, I need to tape this now that I put this right side down this piece of uh, lining goes right side down and uh, take and put a piece of tape at each of the corners one two three and four stick it back in your machine and run the last step step 11 and i'll meet you back in a moment okay so, uh, step 11 is finished and uh, that's the last of the sewing and what that did was just uh, it sewed starting here all the way around and ending here and leaving a large gap to turn the bag through so that uh, is taken care of and so now I'm going to remove the purse from the hoop. Uh, checking my hoop for tape. Uh, any? Nope. No tape on the hoops. That's good. All right. And now what you're going to do now is uh, turn it over to the back side. Uh, to the lining side and let me get my pair of scissors okay what you're going to need to do is take your pair of scissors and start and go in at an angle cut up to this cut right up to the stitches here right on this side of it and then turn your scissors and follow this around all the way around about an eighth to a quarter of an inch away from the stitch line coming across the top down the side and end right here and uh, end like this at an angle and uh, this don't don't cut anything down here at the moment leave this alone so let me do the cutting and I'll be right back. Alrighty, now you can see where I have cut, as I told you, starting over here and all the way up and around the side, at the top and sides and ending again down here where the stitching stops. And now what you want to do is, this is your first piece of lining, pull that down, pull down your second piece of lining and then take your scissors right above the lining very close to the lining but don't cut the lining R cut the remainder of this which is the stabilizer batting and fabric cut everything from leaving these two pieces of lining along we need those cut the rest of this off and so do that and i'll be right back okay now i have cut there's the first piece, the second piece, and all the rest has been cut off. That's what it, that's, that's good. exactly how it should look. Now you want to take and turn the bag the first time through this large opening. So I can't do it one-handed. So go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll meet you back in a moment. All right, the next thing you're going to do, I, the bag is now turned for the first time. You can see on both sides of it, you see your lining fabric. So from this side uh, uh, where you can see the shorter piece of lining, take it and fold it in like I'm doing, and then take your iron and press it, crease it down like this. After you do that, take your longer piece of uh, lining and fold it in, making sure these pieces over here go towards the exterior of the bag these little notches this piece right here make sure it goes to the exterior and uh, line them both up nicely like i said i can't do it well with one hand but then take your iron and run over that again and uh, then uh, let me do that and i'll be right back all right i have taken pressed that down well 
And now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew from right here to right over here, closing this gap up. So sew a line of stitches close to the edge here, closing this gap up and meet me back here in a moment. All righty, this has been sewn shut as you can see. And so take your uh, snippers or scissors and trim some of these little pieces off right there. And there should be another two pieces here, yes. Cut these off. Okay. There, and of course there's all sorts of little pieces up through here that need trimming, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. So take now and, uh, like I say, I can't do it with one hand, but turn the bag out through the zipper area and uh, do that and I'll meet you back in a moment. All right, now that it's turned out, take and uh, mold your zipper with your fingers and make it uh, lay the way it should. And uh, just take and, and take your iron and press it. I've already done that. Uh, I put my pressing cloth down because I didn't want to go right on top of the, with a hot iron on the on the uh, pretty uh, satin stitch and uh, scorch it. But I, I did use an iron and then I used an iron just on the back and uh, so it's pretty flat. Go ahead and take and close the zipper. And... Uh, here you have your little connector for a wristlet, and uh, it's done. I think it's quite beautiful, very festive, and uh, I hope if you uh, obtain the pattern, you will make something beautiful for yourself or a loved one. And um, I just want to thank everyone for watching me today make this. It's always a joy. I really love making these tutorials and showing people how this is done. And uh, I just want to thank all those who continue to support me and uh, because it's just, uh, you just don't know how much I appreciate that, uh, the encouragement and support. So thank you all very much and I'll see you. I've got many, many more patterns. I just can't make the tutorials fast enough. So I'll see you back in a few days and thank you so much. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.